DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be going through a 30-minute full-body resistance band workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through six circuits of six exercises. We're going to be doing three resistance training exercises, followed by three cardio or abs exercises. Our working time for the resistance training exercises is 40 seconds, and for the cardio or abs, it's going to be 20 seconds. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, our first exercise we're gonna go into is going to be chest opener. So, what we're gonna do here is slight bend in the elbows, lock that in, opening up the chest as you bring it back across, stretch out the back. <clears throat> here we go. So, nice and easy here. Oh, don't forget to breathe. Here we go. We got a squat with arm raise coming up here. So feet shoulder width apart, dropping down, coming up, bring the arms up, stretch it out. Oh, oh yeah. Got a little tightness in my right shoulder. Always make notes, mental notes. But when you have that going on, so you might need to adjust or modify during your workout. Good morning's next, slight bend in the knees. We're dropping down, bending at the lower back, coming back up. Here we go. Feeling everything, stretch out. Good, last one here, we got boxer shuffles coming up next. So we're just gonna pop from one foot to the next on these. Just like that, low impact. You can do alternating calf raise or a double leg calf raise. Don't forget to breathe. We got arm swings coming up next. That's a forwards and backwards arm swing. Here we go. So forwards and backwards. There we go. We're going to get our feet out nice and wide. We have alternating lateral lunges next. Here we go, feet wide, dropping down, coming up, switching sides. Make sure to have that back nice and straight, chest out, head up. After this 20 second break, before we get in to the workout. There we go, we got chest press or push-ups. If you wanna do push-ups, hands are gonna be a little wider than shoulder width apart. Right here, dropping down. Coming up, you can do that on your toes or on your knees. If you wanna do a chest press, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bands, wrap them around the back, through the armpits. Bands go on the palm right here, pushing out, coming back. Pushing out, coming back. There we go. So as we push out, the bands are coming to around the chin. And when, when we're back here, their hands are gonna be just up under the chest. So as you push out, it's kind of a up and out, or out and up movement. There we go. We got seated rows coming up next. I'm gonna be dropping my resistance. So for these, we're gonna wrap the bands completely around at least one foot. You can do two if you want. From here, put that leg out, sitting nice and tall, palms face the legs. There we go. Oh, pulling back, coming out. Pulling back, coming out. We're kind of just pulling to what feels natural. So for me, somewhere around the belly button. There we go. Come back, squeeze, back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Oof. We're not hunched over like this, doing these. Oof. Oof. We're gonna stand back up after this. There we go. We got hex squats coming up. So for hex squats, we're gonna take our bands, 
Feet about shoulder width apart. Hands are just gonna hang by the side here. Let me waddle sideways for you. <laughs> We're just gonna drop straight down here. So, dropping down, coming up. Dropping down, coming up. Our back is nice and straight, chest is out. We're not leaned over, we're not doing this. Business, keeping the lower back straight. Keep pushing. Here we go. We have scissor jacks coming up. No band needed here. We're gonna start with a nice little split stance, hands by the side. Here we go. Just like that. Low impact. You're gonna step out, bring the hands up. Come back, hands down. Just like that. Breathe. Good control, breathe. We got skater hops. Make sure you have some space to your sides. Here we go. So nice big hop to the side, hop back. Make sure to brace the impact. We're not hard stomping, bracing for the impact. There you go. Low impact, you're just not hopping. Still take a big step. There you go. We got burpees coming up. I know, you're excited. You're welcome. Drop down, get our push up, hop up, get the jump. If you can't take, get the jump, that's fine. Just stand straight up. Here we go. So dropping down, push up, come up, jump. If you can't do a push up, plank position, come back up. If you can't jump, that's fine. You don't have to. Right here, bam, back down. Try to get some, even if it's only one burpee, try to get it. There we go. It's only 20 seconds. Little break here. Grab some water, your favorite pre-workout mix. Whatever. We got a sumo squat coming up. So, for sumos, bands go out. Step on the ends. Point those toes just a little bit, like 11 and one. Grab the center. Here we go. Make sure not to let the knees buckle in. Let's go, dropping down, pushing up. Dropping down, pushing up. As you push up, don't let those knees buckle. We don't wanna do this, like that, nope. Keep the knees pushed out. Any squatting movement you do, you never want the knees to buckle inwards. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Here we go. All right, we got deadlifts right here. So for deads, we're setting up kind of like we did with the hex squats, except this time our palms or our arms are gonna remain in front of the knees as we drop down. So we're gonna be here, a little bit more hinged in the hips, butt's gonna stay a little higher. Here we go, so we're here, coming back up. Oof. You can see we're here versus here. So butt comes higher, just like that, hinging at the hips. It's gonna work the glutes and hamstrings a little more instead. Come on. All right, we got RDLs next. You can probably keep the same weight. I'm actually gonna drop the same, or drop my resistance a little bit. I've been having some uh, hamstring issues, so I don't wanna overdo it. I can feel it pulling on the uh, deadlifts. So slide in the knees, feet about a foot apart on this. And then from here, we're hinging at the hips, sinking the butt back right here. 
Just a slight bend in the knees. We're not bending the knees anymore. They're staying bent right where they are, locking that in place. Bending over, hands stay close to the shins. Coming back up, chest out, head up. We're not doing this. Oh, that's a good morning. It's a great exercise, but not today. There we go. Ten seconds, we got faux jump rope coming up. So double leg hop here, pretty much. Here we go. Keep the heels off the ground. If you want, you can kind of go from one to the next, like a boxer shuffle. If you can't do this, double leg calf raise, nice and quick, or alternating singles. Just try to go quick. Here we go. Skip hops. We're just skipping in place on this one. Don't go nowhere on me. Here we go. Bam, bam. Nice controlled movements on this. If you can't do this, I want you to get a high knee march with a calf raise. See the calf raise right there at the end? There we go. Come on. We got X hops. Start our feet wide, hop out together, hop out again apart, reverse. We'll go sideways. Here we go. I like to try to keep my upper body in the center and then just lean forwards and backwards. Low impact, step in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Just like that. You still go quick. See? Come on. Whew, 30 seconds. See the reverse grip rows. I'm gonna use the same weight that I did for regular rows. Again, wrapping it around my foot completely. That way, no matter which way I pull it, it can't move. This time on the rows, palms face up, and then we're pulling back and down, kind of to the hip. Here we go, so pulling back and down. So, reverse grip row, palms up, like this. Regular row, you're up here. There we go. Chest out. Keep the elbows tucked into the body. We don't want them flaring out like that. Come on. Push it. One more. There we go. All right, I'm gonna reduce the resistance here. I'm gonna go with just a blue band. So I've reduced my resistance by over half on this one. We're going with the high rows here. So for this one, we're pulling up to the shoulders. There's like three gnats around me all of a sudden. They found me. I'm in trouble. So we're pulling nice and high. Feeling it in the back of the shoulders, right on top of the shoulder blades. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Oh yeah. If you need to, if it gets too heavy, you can always alternate left and right. Let's get one more here. Squeeze. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, we got shrugs. I'm going back to my heavier resistance here. So for this one, we're gonna get our feet nice and wide, try to eat up a bunch of the bands. So we're not gonna have much band left here. <sighs> Head nice and high, right here, up and up and uh, we're bringing the shoulders up to the ears. We're not pulling the head down like that. And up, down, up, down. There we go. Squeeze. 
squeeze. We're gonna clean pulls next, so grab a much lighter weight here. There we go, clean pulls left side. Nice light resistance, we only got 10 seconds. We're gonna step on each end. We're gonna have it regular, like a closer distance, about shoulder width apart here. From here, dropping down, coming up. Oh, there we go, pulling up to the chest, back down. Stand on this left side, feeling it in the trap still. There we go, come on. Clean pulls right side coming up. Make sure to keep that back straight, chest out. Band is gonna stay nice and close to the body too. It's not way out away from us. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. We got running place right here. Here we go. Come on. Running it out. If you can't run it out, that's fine. Just march it. You don't need to hop. Don't forget to breathe. Engage the core. We got 30 seconds. We got incline chest press or pike push ups. If you want to do pikes, <clears throat> then you're going to be right here, butt in the air, coming down, touch the chin, come back up. Just like that. <clears throat> incline chest press. Band's going to go behind the back through the armpits. This time, we're going to press up to the head, top of the head here on these. Here we go. Coming up and down. Up and down. Focusing on the chest here. You are going to feel a little bit more in the shoulders because we are beginning to start pressing up instead of straight out. Come on. Let's go. Push it out. Here we go. We got one more. Here we go. We got alternating reverse grip. Chest press coming up. So for this one, bands are going to be here. This time, our palms are going to be facing up. We're going to come across the body here. Here we go. <clears throat> so, coming across the body, squeeze, palms are facing up. On my free arm, I kind of squeeze my arm into the band to kind of hold it in place. <sighs> that way, if you want, you can kind of push a little bit of a down angle, because that's where I really feel it in my chest on these. When I have to start kind of pushing up, it's a little tougher to feel in the chest. <sighs> Here we go. <sighs> Coming across the body, squeeze the chest, squeeze the chest. There we go, come on. Oh. Oh. All right, we got a low crossover, much lighter resistance here. So I went from a 50 and 60 pound band to a 30 pound band, just to give you an idea of the change. Getting the feet out a little wider here. And then what we're gonna do is come across the body. So coming across, squeezing that chest. Oh yeah. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Notice how I'm not doing this. We're not doing an alternating coast curl. That's coming up though. There we go. Come on. Squeeze, focus on the chest here. We got one more. Oh yeah, we got plank jacks coming up. We're gonna be in plank position on our hands, feet together, and we're hopping feet apart. So, right here, like that, low impact. 
You're just gonna step one out at a time, keeping one foot in the center. If you want, you can always drop to your elbows on this. There we go. You could even modify it both ways there. Engage the core. Flipping over on our back here. We got leg lifts. So, hands go up onto the butt. Head stays up, feet out. Here we go, coming up, down, up, down. Here we go. Push it. If it's too, too tough, you can always alternate left and right. Here we go, we're gonna sit up here. We got a Russian twist. So rotating side to side on this. Here we go. If you wanna make it a little easier, sit straighter up. A little tougher, lean back. Even more tough. Pick the feet up. There we go. Keep leaning back. Come on. Make sure your whole upper body's turning. There we go, 30 seconds. We got bicep curls coming up. There we go. Nice little squeeze in the abs there. So, for some curls, getting our palms facing out away from us here, making sure our bands are even from here. Curling up, coming down. Up, coming down. If it starts to get too tough, you can always alternate left and right. Another option if you want to keep doing doubles when you come down, bring your hands to your side completely and then back up. What that's going to do is right here, we have no tension in the biceps. So it's giving the biceps just a little bit of a break. When you kind of keep your palms out, you keep tension. Come on. There we go. Push it. One more. We got shoulder press next. I'm gonna use band stack method here. So I'm gonna take one of my bands, hold it up in the air. I'm gonna drop down the black band I have. I'm gonna put my knee down on it. Make sure it's even. And then my blue band is just gonna kind of hang in front of me here. So shoulder press. Pushing up, coming down. So for the curls, I use a 30 and 40 pound band. Shoulder press, just the 40. This makes it easier. I actually have a 30 pound band there, but not the 40 on its own. There we go. So you can kind of stack a bunch of bands, or two or three is what I mean by a bunch, together. And then only use what you need on a lot of exercises. You don't always have to use every band. Come on. Oh, there we go. We got alternating close curls. So for this one, I'm going to use the same resistance at 30 and 40, except I'm going to spread my feet out a little bit more, eat up some of the band, make it a little tougher. We're only doing single arm at a time here. So for this one, we're going to bring the arm across as we do the curl, and as we come up, try to get that pinky higher than the thumb. I'll make it a little tougher even. Oh yeah, there we go. You'd be surprised how much stronger you are on this one than normal curls. Let's go, come on. Squeeze the core. We got punch outs coming up. So feet nice and wide. Get that nice little fluid movement going. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. Make sure to use the legs. Push it. Come on. You got this. Breathe. 
we go half jack. So feet together, hands by the side, only bringing the arms halfway. Low impact, you're gonna be here, like that. Come on, bam. Heels off the ground, engage the core. Again, low impact, you're right here. Low impact does not mean low intensity. Come on, you can still go fast. There we go, 90 degree squat hops coming up. Get those feet about shoulder width apart, drop down into the squat, hop up, get that 90, drop back into the squat. Here we go. So dropping down, bam, bam, low impact, you're here. Again. Come on. Back straight. Here we go. Overhead tricep extension coming up. So, for these, I'm going to take the same band I did for, uh, what you call it, bicep curls. I'm going to have the end that I'm not using to the outside step on it. I don't know, I step about 16, 18 inches away. From there, I step through, thumb through the handle, up and around. Here we go, coming up and down. Up and down. There we go. Good controlled movements. Bruce is barking at mail person or FedEx. Here we go. Let's go. One more. Oh yeah, we got lateral raises. Reducing the resistance. I'm gonna go with a 20 pound band on this. You don't need heavy resistance for this. Especially not with the 40 second working time. If it feels too light, you can always step on it with both feet here. So slight bend in the elbows on this one, coming out and down, out and down. There we go. Push it out. Come on, again, like I said, if it gets too easy or you feel like it's too easy, you can only step on it with two feet. Still too easy. You can widen them out, eat up those bands, make it a little tougher. If it's too light or too heavy, you can always alternate left and right. There we go. All right, we're gonna go seated tricep kickbacks here. I'm gonna use a 30 pound band. On the overhead tricep extension, I use a 30 and a 40. So, wrap it fully around the foot. So no matter what, it can't go anywhere. From here, sitting nice and tall. Here we go, arms, upper arms by the side, kicking back, I'm in here. So the movement happens at the elbow on this. The upper arm is not moving. We're not going like this. Upper arm stays by the side. Just like that. Sitting nice and tall. If you need to kind of push your arms, your hands out to the side a little bit, that's fine. It doesn't have to remain directly by your side. If you have T-Rex arms like me, you might be able to do that. Most people probably can't. Come on. Here we go. All right. Power hops or calf raises here. So calf raises, they're going to be right here. Power hops are going to be jumping. So power hops, dropping down, explode, land softly, explode, land softly. Just like that. Also, after this one, I believe we're going into linear jammers, so make sure to grab a band real quick, be ready, because we only have a 10 second break. I'm gonna use my 30 pound band. Linear jammer. So, band goes under that back foot. Oop, there we go. Step on it, here we go. Pushing up, down, up, down. There you go. Come on, push it out. 
Let's go. Trying to go quick, but controlled. Here we go. 10 seconds. I'm gonna try to make sure I keep my feeling the same here. Step on in the same spot. That's my plan there. Here we go. Bam, right side. Last one. Boom. Boom. Get that heart rate up. Let's go. Let's go. Burn those shoulders up. Come on. There we go. We're finished. Great workout. Got the heart rate up there. Got a great pump going on. Shoulders feeling good. Arms are feeling good. Heart's feeling good now with that cardio. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.